Woo, hey everyone, this is Dara from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live, live from Vietnam, guys. And this is the last day, the last day of 2022. And I can't wait, I can't freaking wait to see the end of this Pupush Mana Bear. And I'd like to introduce you to a new friend, a new co-host to the Crypto Daily Trade Signals family. This is called the brown Pupush Mana Bear. So hopefully this guy we won't be seeing too much in 2023. So guys, Happy New Year. Welcome, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the support. Let's get into it without any further delay, guys. We're going to be talking about Dogecoin, uh, the Doge One X launch. We're going to be talking about a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of catalysts, a whole bunch of good stuff, hopefully some good stuff. So some hopioid out there. Uh, let's take a look what happened yesterday with the broader markets. And remember, now this is financial advice. Pow, guys. And don't forget to smash Dogecoin 111. If you love the community, 555 and 333. Read between the lines, haters and scammers. Guys, let's get it. So we're seeing that uh, yesterday, yesterday, uh, yesterday for me, but uh, you know today for you guys that the the stonkity stinkity stonk stonks were down uh, across the board. Uh, you know something that kind of uh, scared me this morning. I looked up and I took a look at our fear and greed index out there, and I went like, what happened? I mean, we we are now back in extreme fear, guys. So. Welcome to 2023 in extreme fear zone, guys. So we take a look at the heat, heat map. Heat map is, you know, it's not bad. It's not good. It's just, it's it's more of this poo poo shmata bear out there. Ah. And uh, we're just seeing that crypto is extremely boring right now. Uh, you know, if we if we just take a look at what's going on on the monthly right now uh, for the year of Bitcoin, we can see it's a terrible year. It's a terrible year. Uh, you know, what can we expect for 2023? We're going to be talking about that soon enough. We're going to be talking about the Dogecoin launch day. We're going to be talking about uh, Billy Marcus said something uh, interesting that gives me more and more. It's it kind of, you know, how Elon Musk, he kind of, he never, I mean, one thing I don't like about Elon Musk, he never says A, B, C. You know, he's never black and white. It's always like this, you know, mysterious, you know, uh, you know, never you know great he's just never he's just never straight and there's some tweets that went on between Billy Mark Billy Marcus and uh, Elon Musk and some others and it kind of you know was talking about Dogecoin and Dogecoin could be possibly uh, you know being the official currency of Twitter so you know it's indirect it's indirect innuendo so we're gonna be talking about that so stay tuned stay tuned so if you take a look at our daily on-chain flow right now we are seeing that uh, still you know, the conviction of the uh, crypto holders, the conviction of more and more people out there are still seeing that more crypto is flowing off exchanges. You know, you would expect that, you know, amid all of this uh, crisis, amid all the financial contagion, the crypto contagion, uh, the stinkity stocks going down, the crypto whiptos going down, that people would just be like, sold, I'm out of here, I'm not touching crypto again. But in fact, that seems to be the opposite of the norm right now. People are still saying, look, okay. 2022, it stunk. It was a big, giant SHIT show out there. Uh, but they're still saying, look, I'm going to take a chance on 2023 and see what's coming, guys. I mean, a lot of people are still seeing saying, seeing, seeing, and saying that we could be seeing, uh, you know, a $10,000 Bitcoin coming in. If it happens, it happens, guys. I still think it's an opportunity. Uh, I don't see it as a negative thing. I just see it as a good opportunity to accumulate more. I mean, we've had some uh, people even in my community saying it could go down to four, four to 5,000. If it does, I'm okay with that because I, like I said, I'm dollar cost averaging, I'm hodling like a madman, and I'm waiting for life changing wealth. And I, I'm, I'm in it to win it, and I'm gonna be in it to 2025. What about you guys? Uh, so, you know, I'm not too deterred about anything out there. Yes, my portfolio is down a lot right now, but remember along the way I did take a lot of profit. So I'm still up from where I started from and I have more uh, coins. So from that perspective, you know, the number of coins or tokens, I have a lot more. The value, the value is down compared to the US dollar, but uh, one Dogecoin is still one freaking Dogecoin. So this is coming in from Glassnode's alerts. It looks like BTC number of addresses holding 100 plus coins have just reached a one-year high of 16,133. So as I said, this is evidence of the conviction that more and more people are hopeful that we're going to see a turnaround, we're going to see a win, we're going to see a moonshot, baby. And if that's what you think, and that's what I think, you know what to do about that. Go down there, 
Ah, lick the freaking likes, guys, and show some love, guys, out there. Uh, people are just not watching uh, crypto YouTube videos anymore. It just seems that uh, people like, I just kick the camera. People like, you know, they're fed up. So, guys, don't, don't be deterred. You know, we got some good content here. Uh, you know, my format is very simple. Try to give you the news, what's going on, and as much of a Dogecoin update as I can. And remember, every day, it's not like people are cranking out uh, hundreds and thousands of news articles about Doge, guys. So, you know, sometimes it can get boring, guys, but I'm bringing the news, bringing the hits and the tricks, hits and the tricks. So Bitcoin and the uh, Bitcoin number of addresses holding one plus coins so has also reached an all-time high. So we're seeing a lot of positivity in terms of the uh, Bitcoin holders. So, you know, the conviction is still pretty strong out there. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Now, this is kind of interesting. Interesting. Now, it looks like regulators in the Bahamas are holding $3.5 in FTX uh, customer assets. So... That is a good thing for the customers that they found some funds, right? The bad thing is, will the, will the Bahama government uh, be releasing that? I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, you guys can comment, but, you know, $3.5 billion, could that be more than the total GDP of the Bahamas? Because it's only a small little, you know, place. So, you know, maybe they're, they're, you know, this is more money than their whole treasure is holding. So maybe they can't release it because they've used it to build rows of bridges. Wouldn't that be funny? Out there, guys, they've appropriated the FDX. So that is what is going on. Now, remember yesterday, I did talk about this here. I did, I did talk about this yesterday. It says, you know, there's this whole thing about uh, that SBF, you know, use a Seashells uh, crypto account, a crypto exchange, and he cashed out $684,000, okay? Now, according to his bail terms and conditions, he's not allowed to do that. Uh, he can only uh, withdraw up to a thousand bucks. Anything over that, he needs to get permission, right? So then, then the fried chicken man, he did, he did respond. He did respond, and he said, "SPF said none of these are mine. I'm not. I, I'm not, and couldn't be moving any of those funds. I don't have access to them anymore." I don't believe that. For a freaking second, I think I think I think this I think he's he's running, guys. I think he's gonna running, and then some people have been saying that he's gonna plead guilty out there. Okay, maybe he's gonna he's gonna cop a plea. He's gonna cop a plea because everybody's dropping a dime, d d d d dime on this. This is positive. It looks like Prince Philip of Serbia. Okay, they got a prince over there. I didn't know that. Uh, we need hard money, immune to inflation, and Bitcoin is a solution. He said it. He said it. So that's kind of interesting. Prince Philip from Serbia. Where the, it's cold up there, right? Like freaking cold. So this is from Stock Money Lizards, and he's kind of saying, look, you know, 2017 we had this this, this patent here, be it a bit, but a bit, and we had it again in 2023, and then we had a breakout, right? So he's kind of saying, I think what he's trying to allude to here is that the patents are similar, the fractals are looking eerily similar eerily that, now that sounds ominous right eerily eerily similar and that could be followed by a, a pump a retracement and then a huge pip so if that happens that could put uh, that could put uh, itty bitty uh, you know like a, a 95,000 so you know my prediction my, my my prediction for 2023 for itty bitty baby I think we hit 35,000 we're darn too lucky out there so if you're reading this, that means two things. You're still alive. Thank God for that. I'm still alive. And you have survived the worst stock market performance since 2000 and, uh, 2008. Remember when we had this whole you know, housing crisis, housing loan debacle in 2008, and people thought that the world was going to come to an end? It didn't. We rebounded. We had a bull run. Cryptos went, cryptos went insane in 2021. People were like, ah, millionaires were made. Um, so guys, you did it. You made it. 2022 was a big poopush matter, and here's a poopush matter bear to celebrate the poopush matter of 2022. Pa 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 poopush matter out there. My son's bear, by the way, in case uh, you wonder where that came from. So guys, here's something interesting. Now there was this whole this whole thread out there that was going on, and it, it said, and this is from Stonks Trading, okay, and he's kind of saying, look. Someone tell Elon Musk who we were all red-pilled years ago and we just want to pay for news and light-hearted content with beep, 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 beep Dogecoin. Okay, I kind of, I agree with that. What do you guys think you agree with that? I agree. I, I think that's what we want. We want, we want some, you know, light-hearted content and we'd love to be able to pay with Dogecoin on Twitter, right? So is it hard? 
where are all the accounts I follow on this? I need you to agree with why I'm out there with my bare butt in the wind. So what he's saying is he wants people to say, yeah, we need it and we need it, you know? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tweet, I agree, we need the douche as a payment option for Twitter. And I'm gonna go add Elon Musk, right? And get the man involved. I must, when can we freaking have this? What are you waiting for? The second coming? Ugh. So let's hopefully I get a reply, that would be cool. That would be cool, okay? So I replied and then, you know, this kind of, this kind of thing came out and then, uh, Shibanoki, Shiba, Shibatushi Nakamoto, he kind of chimed in. Remember, he, sometimes he, he kind of like, he tweets something, I don't get it. Um, you know, and he says, it has among a non-zero amount of people. I don't believe that. There's more than a lot of people. So guys, if you're watching, go to my Twitter, follow that thread, you know, go to my tweets and replies. And everybody, can you please reply to Elon Musk and tell him, that we want the Dogecoin tippy jar and we want the Dogecoin payment option for Twitter. Guys, you gotta do it. So, you know, and then, and then uh, Shiba Nakamoto, he goes on and says like, how, how big the actual number is, I couldn't tell you. So he's saying, I don't know how many people want it. So I think, I think we need to do that. And uh, so there it is. And uh, Elon Musk kind of said, they don't give reasons. So, I mean, Elon Musk definitely has read this threat, okay? He has definitely read this threat. He reacted to Shiba, no, Shiba Toshi Nakamoto, who reacted to that. So maybe that has kind of put a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a boop boop in the brain of, uh, of um, Elon Musk, and maybe that's going to be on, on, in his thought process. So Elon, if you're watching this, wake up. We need the Dogecoin Twitter uh, payment option, and we need the Dogecoin tippy jar. What the freak are you waiting for? Uh, we're going to be talking about the Doge X, Doge 1 mission to the moon. Some more clarification on that. Looks like uh, currently we have a ton of Dogecoin nudie nudes. So right now we have about 3,000, 3, I kicked the table again, uh, 3,592 nudes for Dogecoin and they're running worldwide. Goals. So that's pretty good. We got a couple, we got two space, I think we got two SpaceX nodes as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Two SpaceX nodes as well out there. Three, three SpaceX nodes. So that is pretty good, guys. So that's cool. That's absolutely cool. Beans in the house. What else is coming in? Looks like Bitcoin 2023 uh, prediction. Uh, he's calling for like a $30,000 uh, uh, Bitcoin. Yeah, possible, possible, possible. What's coming in as well? Looks like Dogecoin plummets amid rumors of Ethereum-like merge. So this was this whole fuddy fud fud. This is fud. And this is this fud about uh, Dogecoin is going to be moving to proof of stake, blah, blah, blah. That's not going to happen. Forget about it. It's fud, okay? I did talk about in my previous video, Dogecoin has much wow in 2022. And this was all the catalyst that had happened in 2022. So go back and watch my other video. You're going to love it. Hey, guys, and if you want to be part of the conversation and you don't want to miss a beat, you don't want to miss a trick, guys, join our, join, uh, join our Discord, guys. You want it. I want it. And uh, sometimes you don't get notifications, go there, guys. We got a, a good community, a good growing community out there. So it is pretty cool beans out there. Get it, get it, get it. So do go back and see what Dogecoin has been doing year in review. I love it. You love it. And guys, we got this one. We got the Dogecoin tippy jar. So if you want to show some love, show some support for the OG, I appreciate it. And guys, remember uh, we had this whole SpaceX launching satellite one to the moon next year. So it's going to be a paid mission. Paid. The mission is going to be paid by Doge, Recap City. Uh, first crypto in space, first meme in space. So that is pretty good news. Now the update, the updated launch date, the launch date for that is, uh, it looks like any time after January 26th. So I keep talking about this January, January 26th date. This is a huge catalyst. I think we're going to be getting the Doge uh, SpaceX satellite Doge 1 to the moon. So keep an eye on that one, guys. Let's take a look at what's going on with the Doge Woja right now. So Doge Woja did form this uh, huge head and shoulder pattern. Uh, on the daily. So it looks like Doge is trying, to, attempting, attempting to make a break, make a break, and get itself back up to uh, seven cents. So right now we're just kind of going sideways at this new, new levels here. We've been going sideways between, uh, you know, like eight cents and seven cents. 
Now, if we don't break past this uh, seven cent resistance soon, then we're just going to be going kachunka kachunka between six and uh, seven cents. So we have kind of like broken down right now. But you know, a lot of people are saying that you know the bears are going to take over, the bulls are going to take over. But look, guys, look at the freaking volumes. There's no volumes. The volumes are light. People on holiday mode, I think. Uh, let's take a look at what's going on uh, doji wooji wise for uh, doge. We're now seeing that Doge is down 3.78%. Thank you, Happy New Year, Doge. Uh, we're seeing the volumes are up 48%, but they're still pretty light uh, compared to where they were. You know, uh, you know, if we take a look at where we were, like you know, the 27th of November-ish, we had lots of volumes. But the, but since we had the whole Christmas thing and and New Year thing, it's just kind of not a lot of volume. So that is what is going on with that. I wouldn't be too surprised about that. Uh, you know. Uh, let's take a look at the Shiba Inu right now. Shiba Inu is just going sideways as well. Nothing too much to write home about there. Uh, once again, Shiba Weeby, Shiba Weeby out there. It's all Shiba Weeby, so I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about it too much. Shiba Weeby is also doing this pretty much the same thing. Let's take a look at the let's take a look at the, uh, the the market, the coin market right now. Let me see where I can get that for you. Coin markets, where are you? I'm blind as a bat. I can't see my tabs today. Let me take a look at the coin market cap. Let's get it. Cryptocurrencies in the house. So right now the total market cap is down. Bitcoin is down. Everything is down. Nothing is in the red. Everything is in the red. Everything is bad news bear. So guys, also too, don't forget, um, don't forget. To, Get a Nano Ledger wallet if you are on uh, centralized exchange or exchanges of any kind. Get the Harbor wallet. You don't own the keys. You don't own the crypto, guys. I would appreciate. It. So that's gonna bring this video to a close. You woozy guys, don't forget to follow, 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 follow me on Twitter. I would appreciate it. I would absolutely freaking appreciate it. Get it, get it, get it. You love it. I love it. And uh, you know, get the merch. Be well and happy New Year, guys. And remember, if you're going going out tonight to celebrate New Year's Eve. You know, don't do this and do that, okay? Please uh, be careful out there. Designated drivers, be safe out there. And uh, we'll all hear from you uh, later. Happy freaking New Year. Dogecoin to the moon. Peace out.